Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, this is a, a very important issue, and the interest of net neutrality has been a very fascinating one. And considering the pace and innovation of the World Wide Web as we knew it, uh, and the recent news splashed in regards to needed regulations on Facebook and, and data privacy and, and the Amazons of the world, um, we recognize that the Internet has a wide reach and implication. And we also remind ourselves that we should proceed very, very carefully with this issue. We can't simply be reactive and emotive about this issue and not realize the broad-reaching implications of this issue. You know, and, and as a result, I want to compliment our leadership for hosting an informational forum on this issue alone. And it has been a very interesting discussion, uh, many viewpoints, international experts on this issue. And, and one particular area that was reinforced to me about the role of the Internet and the interstate commerce issue is the fact that it is the ultimate interstate commerce issue. You cannot deny that. The fact that I can make a phone call or a text message to Representative Slap or Sen Senator Formica and it could route to four different areas of this country. It is the ultimate interstate commerce issue. And I want to take my guidance from Attorney John Leibowitz, who served as the chairman of the Federal Trade Commission from 2009 to 2013, as he offered his testimony. And he was appointed to be the chairman of the FTC by President Obama. And I quote, the state of Connecticut can and should play a productive role in this conversation by calling for a federal legislative solution and providing input on how to best protect the consumers. It is ultimately a federal issue. And for me, I'm extremely concerned about the preemption. I know the good representative talked about legal interpretation of that debate, but for me, it has not been resolved as it protects the state of Connecticut. So I will be voting no on this bill, but I will request from my legislative leadership to ask from the Attorney General an opinion on the implications of federal preemption. So I will vote no to, to proceed carefully to get the proper diligence in addressing this issue rather than put our state at risk on future litigations and costs and burdens. And again, as we've learned, the World Wide Web is in its infancy and the implications are so widespread that for us as a legislative body, we must proceed carefully. So a no does not mean the death knell of this debate. A no says that we have to respect the consequences and implication of the Internet. Because we have seen, as I said, repeat it again, the news recently talks about well-intentioned well-meaning social interactions that could be used for misinterpretation and abuse. So I offer again, I'll vote no, but I would hope that we get the proper opinion from the Attorney General before we proceed any further on this. So thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Senator. Senator.